Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, after doing the complete analysis of DC analysis of BJT, after that we'll have to learn the particular numerical examples of DC analysis of BJT. Let's start. This is the first example that we'll have to learn for BJT DC analysis. So we'll start from the simple analysis. Now, in this particular circuit, whatever given is and the value of beta is given as 50. So all these values are given and the question is what they have asked us find a part q point right b part q point and stability factor okay so these are nothing but the question we will have to start the answer from the basic first step of DC analysis where whenever we are starting with the DC analysis it's a DC so frequency is zero so capacitive reactance is infinite that means open circuit will have to keep all the coupling and bypass capacitor open circuited. So your first step is step one. And now we will redraw this circuit for complete DC analysis. Let us start with the step number two that is to find out the Q point for which we have to follow two steps. One is this one that is input KVL and second one is this one that is output KVL. Let's start with that. This is your equation of input KVL and from which we'll have to move further for the finding of IB. So I'll get one formula that is VCC minus VBE divided by And now we will apply these values VCC is 20 VBE is 0 0.7 if it is not given you have to take as 0 0.7 RB which is given as 430 kilo ohm plus 1 plus beta that is 1 plus 50 which is nothing but value of beta RE is 1k right and you can easily calculate that particular value. This value comes out to be 40.1 microampere. So we have got the value of base current which is in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 ampere. And now it's time to calculate the value of Q point first parameter that is ICQ is nothing but beta into IBQ. 
this is nothing but i b q so here we will say beta is 50 50 multiplied by 40.1 micro and this gives you the value 2.01 milliampere right we will note this as equation number two this is number one it's not equation it's a value now after getting the value of icq we will move towards the output kvl we will be getting vcc minus icrc minus vceq minus i e r e is equal to zero we want v c e q right we are assuming that i c and i e is nearly same we also can find out particular value of i e by multiplying beta plus one to i b value we'll put that value and to find out the value of v c e q which is equal to v c c minus i c into r c minus i e into r e which is equal to 20 minus i c is 2.01 milli r c value is 2k i e value is nothing but 51 multiplied by 40.1 micro that is 1 plus beta times i b multiplied by i r e that is 1 k this gives you the value of v c e q as 13.97 volts right now we can decide that q point is equal to 2.01 milliampere that is i c right And second part is VCEQ that is 13.97 volts that is equal to VCEQ. And now we will plot it on your output characteristics. And now we will plot it on your output characteristics. This is your VCE Q and uh, this is your IC Q and this is called as Q point, coincident point for your operating condition, right? So we have completed your first part of the numerical and the second part Second part we will do in the next slide. We have to decide the stability factor that is S. We all know that with fixed bias with emitter resistance RE, your stability factor will come out to be. And we just have to put the value of all the RE, RB, beta, and then we will be getting the value of S. Obviously, it will be less than 1 plus beta. This is coming out to be 44.8. So, your stability is less than that of 50, right? So stability factor is this. So your answer is Q point, which is nothing but 13.97 volts. And your value of ICQ is nothing but 2.01 milliampere 
x coordinate and y coordinate respectively and the stability factor s is equal to 44.8 and you have to add one comment as well circuit is less stable so this is how we reach to the final answer i hope you have understood the simple example on dc analysis of bjt in further video we'll have to move towards the complexity of the numerical example on dc analysis thank you so much for watching this particular video and we have to learn more and more edc along with me along with ekda videos for that you have to subscribe the channel ekda thank you